Okay. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Today's Thursday. Now, oh no, today's Wednesday. Uh, well, uh, I do have one announcement. As you may know in the news, that Hurricane Florence is well, it's kind of kind of changed courses a little bit. Uh, but we're still going to be impacted by it with heavy rain, very heavy rain, um, and gusty winds. And so there's 80% chance it's going to uh, going to be very, very bad and possibly lose power on Friday during the hurricane, uh, Florence. So I definitely want to start pre-recording uh, two videos. One is... The lecture and the other one is the sermon for Sunday, just in case if the power went out and stuff like that. So uh, definitely keep me keep me in your prayers. Um, definitely, <coughs> and I still got some cough. So yeah. So today's lectures, um, we're gonna be talking about uh, tenants, uh, Arvark. Junong and uh, manatees and elephants. Now, uh, tunnets is basically found in um, Madagascar and in some parts of Africa. They are mostly related to shrews, hedgehog, or otters, but they're mostly um, mostly close relatives of you know other African insectivores such as the uh, the golden mole and the elephant sh uh, the elephant shoe um, which oh let me show you an example um, in this book one second here I'll show you an, an example. Ah, now tenants looks like, but well, there's different kinds. But here's one of them here. Uh, if I can, one of them right here. This, these are tenants. Uh, if I pronounce it right, but yeah, these are uh, insectivores from Madagascar. Um, let's see here. All right. So most of, <coughs> excuse me. So most are nocturnal and have poor eyesight. Okay. Now uh, there's some of the examples such as the tailless um, tenants. Uh, there's uh, a greater hedgehog tenants. Uh, straight tenants, shoe tenants, rice tenants. Um, yeah, so basically, they're not a greater hedgehog tenants. Looks like a hedgehog, but it's not a hedgehog. Um, basically, uh, there's um. They're pretty much insect insectivores during this time. Okay, the aardvark. Uh, you know, everybody knows the aardvark. Um, should not see a picture of it. But aardvarks are boring, nocturnal, and they are the live uh, the the own, one and only species that are in this family. Uh, they can live up to 23 years in life. Uh, I think I think that's all the facts that I know of. Um, let's see here. Uh, 
Now, not all these. Give me one second, folks. One second. Okay. Now, Dudongs and Mantis. Now, Dunong are different than Mantis. Uh, the Dunong family has only one species, but it used to be two. Remember, uh, in, during the uh, first lecture, we talked about the introduction to mammals and how these uh, settlers, uh, sea cow, had been extinct in the uh, 18th century. That, that's the reason why they have one species for that. Um, do not want to confine these the coast of East Africa, Indian Ocean, uh, the Red Sea, and, <coughs> and Northern uh, Australia. Uh, and they eat seaweeds and seagrass as their main diet. Um, Let's see. Yeah. Manatees, there are three different species. Two in the fresh water in West Africa and the Amazon, and the third in coastal waters of the tropical Atlantic Ocean. Um, the American uh, manatees, you can find this. Uh, from Florida to Guyana in the coastal waters. And these are gentle giants. <laughs> um, you can um, go to Florida if you got permission. Right now, they're volatile right now. Um, these manatees are very gentle. They're, they're not aggressive. Um, but... You can go to Florida uh, and meet these creatures either in SeaWorld or or a uh, or a sanctuary that keep these animals alive somehow. Um, yeah. So the three species of manatees. Are the Amazonian manatees, the American manatees, and the African manatees? These are the three species. Okay, the manatee has a heavier body than the dungong, and is also uh, let's see, has like a uh, in oval tail flakes, uh, let's see, there are three nails in each of the flippers, which is kind of interesting. And their main diet is basically vegetation, uh, small invertebrate animals with the with the plants. Uh, the manatees lay on the seabed, uh, racing every couple of minutes to breathe at the surface. Manatees are social animals and live in family, family groups, sometimes gathering in larger herd. Uh, the... The uh, gestation period is about a year. So, I think they breed probably uh, about one, once a year, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, both of these are, are aquatic overwars. They eat a lot of seagrass and stuff. Now, let's talk about the elephant. Now, everyone knows the elephant 
everybody goes to zoos. Everybody go to circuses. You know what the elephant looks like. However, uh, now there's three current species of the uh, Africa, so of the elephant, which is the African basin elephant. No, no, the African bush elephant, the African forest elephant, and the Asian elephant. Now there's a lot of prehistoric elephants uh, during the creation. Was a uh, mastodon and mammoths, um, and, and other elephant species during the creation. Um, elephants are the largest living to ter territorial animals. Yes, they are very very aggressive. If you either go near a bull or um, or if you go near the, the calves and the mother is trying to protect their calf. So you got, we, got, we all got to remember that we all got to respect these animals. Uh, especially <clears throat> when they are in a large group, basically. Uh, the odd, uh, no. Adult herd is like 18, which is the same as humans. Um, they live up to 60 to 70 years, uh, which is a pretty long time. Uh, yeah, I think, I think that's all the facts. But let no, me no, read to you something here. Uh, a brief, uh, a brief reading. Uh, Elephants rest in the midday heat and have one or two periods of rest at night, but otherwise active at any time, roaming with a swinging, uh, yeah, basically looking for food. Um, yeah, elephants may consume up to 440 pounds of plant matter a day. <coughs> <coughs> okay, the diet includes leaves, shoots, twigs, uh, roots, and fruits from, from many plants, as well as uh, of cultured props on occasion. Elephants are social animals, particularly females, and are known to to um, demonstrate concern for others and distress, which is pretty interesting. Uh, breeding occurs at any time of of the year. A female in heat may mate with more than one male, which is kind of interesting. Uh, the gunnison period is about 22 months, and usually only one young is born, which is pretty interesting. Yeah. Now the uh, the Indian elephant or the Asian elephant. Um, let's see. The hearing and the sense of smell are are um, excellent, but their eyesight is is poor. The heat period called must, which is often occurred by um, basically a liquid uh, scent from a gland on the side of the head, 
Um, becomes excited. Uh, the animal comes excited and unpredictable. And unpredictable. Uh, it this lasts about 21 months, and the female usually gave birth to a so young. So that's a fact on that. So I think that's all that I got for today, folks. Uh, I wish I can do something better, but it's fine. Uh, next week, we're going to get it. Well, if the power is on back on next week, uh, the Rex, the Armadillo, Sloth. And ant eaters, rabbits, hares, and pikes. So, hopefully, I'll see you again next week. I'll make another video, another live stream, and we'll be talking about the book of Jeremiah, chapter 4 through 6. So, may God bless you and keep you, and I'll see you again later.